Hey, I'm Justin. I'm Josie. And I'm Kyle. And on today's IGL, we are bringing you back to the VRLA Expo. Or Kyle for the first time. So I... Oh, uh, yeah. I just... Sorry about that. It looked like man. so much fun, guys. I really... Mm. I guess I lost the invite in the mail. <laughs> mm. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Let's watch. Caught in a landslide, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I'm at the Exit Reality booth at VRLA, and I'm here with some new friends. I'm Justin, why don't you guys introduce yourselves to the people? Uh, I'm Yoni Koenig, and I'm one of the co-founders of the Exit Reality. And I'm Alex, I'm CMO of Neurogaming. Awesome, so can you tell everyone what you guys are doing here, what you guys teamed up to do? Sure, so uh, just to start, before we jump, because we really want to talk about Polygon, obviously, everybody is just incredibly excited, and it, it is the future manifest. So, uh, what you're looking at here is uh, the partnership between Neurogaming and Exit Reality, where we are showing the entire VR ecosystem integrated into a solution that we can offer together, all the way from R&D, uh, content creation, hardware, software integration, yeah. infrastructure, operation, services, and educational experiences, entertainment experiences. So yeah, any of the use cases you could find in the world from VR together, we feel we could handle at the best of class and the best services. So, but the best thing really to talk about now would be like, let's talk about Polygon because this is really... So yeah, you guys are going to see some footage about what we just did. This is a multiplayer experience. I mean, you could probably explain it better than I can, but we were playing with people in Moscow and New York at the same time. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to do a little po poetry here for a second because this is really, what's so amazing here that you're watching uh, arena spectator experience combined with broadcast, second screen and traditional broadcast with gaming and competitive experience with telepresence. So we're talking about something that shifts the entire narrative around what is entertainment, uh, what is sports, what is competition, what is gaming. This is, I mean, uh, they have some booths over here too that you guys are in Las Vegas. You even have some competitive, uh, maybe you could speak on that, Alex, uh, and what, what Neurogaming does. So basically what happened is that Exit Reality has partnered with IGT and Wife Studios. So what the guys did is that actually they've built up the proper setup for highly competitive tournaments out there with ratings and real cash prizes. So actually, people are just standing in lines, and the you know the the gambling the gambling floors and the casinos they're getting crowded again. You know, so they're yeah. bring, driving back the crowd because now it's like the next step in uh, well, I would say like gambling or you know high risk games out there. Ex except for the fact that they're happening in VR, so it's like a highly competitive game that the guys are having out there to win some real prizes. And with real stakes, really skill based too. Like this is a really competitive shooter. I was getting all down there on my on my knees and, and getting and stepping over everything. Can you speak maybe about what neuro gaming uh, kind of brings to the table for this whole uh, enterprise? Yeah, sure. So basically what we do is that we have the platform that actually manages all of the arenas around. So, I mean, what happens is that, well, what you have experienced actually is that you have, uh, you're playing in an arena in here in LA, you're playing with guys in New York and in Moscow where there are the same like physical counterparts of the arenas out there. So what we do is that we have a very strong R&D team out there that optimizes like all of the network and data transfer protocols. So you don't experience any kind of a latency out there. You know, the voice chat is in. So there are no delays like in the reactions between the characters that are playing within one seamless environment. So aside from that, that technology, what we do is that we've built up the video director's interface. So that thing is like an extra build up which delves straight into the esports area. But you know, we'll bring the sports back into the esports, so to say, because you know, you gotta get real active out there. So it has like the complete video director setup. So you can go live and stream directly like to Twitch, YouTube, OTT, digital, whatever the channel. So um, based upon that, we believe this has like a real future of becoming like a centerpiece for esports, entertainment, and media. Because one of the other things that which you can actually do is that you can have this setup built in like a TV studio or a film studio, and you can rig the actual cameras so you can get two pictures, like one from the meat space and the other from the virtual reality. Um, and of course, this third feature is the second screen support, what Yoni mentioned before. That thing actually helps the viewers not only like to view the gameplay from their smartphones or tablets, but they can be part of the gameplay. So you know, if this is like a competitive shooter, they can operate drones, they can you know man the turrets, they can be the spotters for the controlling the camera, something like that. That's so cool because there's some there's some real comedic possibilities if you're talking about commentating on this too. There was a portion that uh, Josie kind of stepped off the thing and and committed suicide in the virtual world. <laughs> That's always scary. I mean, because you know, five minutes in VR, especially when you have the proper tracking and everything seems natural, your brain is filled. You're like in there. You're in the thing. Oh, yeah, Josie was mentioning how scared she was of helicopters, and that, that kind of took her by surprise. Uh, 
And that's just one of the segments of the booth right here, too. So you also have Exit Reality specializes in these kind of modular systems as well. Think about it this way. You're looking at a fleet of different capacity distribution systems or departure points for experiences. So anywhere here from a, a single player experience where we can do training and so on, or a single player VR experience, to a completely portable uh, a unit here where you can have single or multiplayer experiences, and to the IGP head-to-head -head, uh, tournament system, which Alex spoke to. And then of course, these new trust systems over here that combine four player, uh, uh, it can be four player head to head or four on four competitive player. So these are almost larger. These are like just Navy destroyers, we'll call them for a minute. Well, uh, yeah, and like. Here, the po I'm sorry for the military metaphor. I don't no, know no, no, it's an old school system link. It's kind of like playing Halo with four of your friends and then four of your other friends. Yeah. And then over here, Polygon, which is really like the carrier, right? I mean, this is like. And this is, oh, this is the new laser tag for me. Like, I see so much, you know, I, I hope this is in uh, every city on the planet, you know? That would, be, that would be the future for sure. Thank you so much for your time, Yanni. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, we're at VRLA. We're here with Rob and Jose from Stuido, and they have their game The Take. Why don't you tell them about it, Rob? Sure. Uh, the Take is a local multiplayer VR game in which you take on the roles of competing spies in a comic book world. One person puts on a headset and has to hide a piece of classified intel in a room and set up a whole bunch of booby traps within a time limit. Then they physically take off the headset and give it to someone else in the room, who then has to try to find that object within the time limit and avoid all the traps. Almost like a party game kind of mentality. You could pass it around the room and all that. Cool. How long have you guys been working on it? About eight months. Eight months. And is your first release? It's our first release as a company. Congratulations. I want to be the first to tell you that. Um, so the game is available on Steam right now? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. 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 The, the full game is available on Steam for $9.99. Um, it works for the HTC, HTC Vive. Also with the Oculus Rift and the Windows MR through Steam VR platform, um, we're doing a full content support patch later in the month, and also PSVR in the summer, like later in the summer. Yeah. Expandable content. You're gonna be adding levels and yeah. things like that. We are, we are gonna be adding more content as the game goes on. We're a very small team, team of three. Um, so we like it's our first game out, and we want to put a little bit more content out there for the people to play around with. Yeah. Um, and we're doing that for free with the patches as we support different headsets. And you guys are out of Brooklyn, you were saying. What do you guys think about VRLA? It's Love it. Nice, yeah, Love super it. beautiful. <laughs> it's the fact, the the fact that, we went, that we got to come out here to show our game was super, super yeah, nice. Super honored to be here. Absolutely, yeah, not just for the weather, right? <laughs> awesome. Can't wait to play it. Thank you guys so much. Well, guys, I've hidden an object somewhere in this room, and now we're going to see if Josie can find it in the take. She's so off. I feel pretty good about this, yeah. I feel like I've, uh, I've, I'm pretty, I've set some devious traps. Throw those books. Hate knowledge. There's a trap. No stress. Gotcha. Wow. Aggressive. No! Well, we hope you guys really enjoyed our time here at VRLA. Josie, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it's a I shame. Have a voice. That, shame that Kyle totally blew us off. What the heck, man? Yeah, dude. But it's Kyle. all right. We still love you, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much. We got to go play some stuff. Yeah.